okay in this video we are going to talk about taking a backup okay this time we are going to talk about taking a file group backup instead of our database backup okay now right click on the adventure box 2000 because this is the only database I have that has a multiple file groups the other database I have only one primary file group that is available in every database okay right now select the backup usually the file groups are used in very large database and it's not usually found in normal databases why do we use file groups the reason we use file groups are because we want to put the data on a different files and the files we want to put it on a different disk why do we do that thing we do that thing because the, suppose there are a lot of tables that are very large we can put them on the different files different file groups we have been querying it again and again okay it, it slows down the database the other thing is that it makes the administration very easy the administration requires the data has to be backed up and a very large database backing up will take a lot of time usually it is, though it is running in the background process but it still takes a lot of time the idea is to actually take a backup of an individual file or a file groups so that it will actually reduce the time of the backup and it will actually allow the database to run normally and the performance of the server won't go down that much as it would do with the full database backup the other thing is now after I have explained you with the file groups let me actually go into the database okay here from here I can select any database I want okay I will leave it as it is and there is a recovery model full bulk locked and simple I cannot change anything here then there's a backup type there's a full backup type usually we have to take always a full backup first then there's a differential backup or the transaction log backup whatever we want to take okay now there is a copy only backup I've already shown this thing in the video full backup is something actually from the beginning till the end the database it takes the longest time but it will give you the most of the safety net in the case anything goes wrong differential is the backup from the last full of backup till the current time and transaction log backups are taken in a sequential order that is every half an hour one hour and whatever you transaction log you have taken from the last full backup or the last differential backup whichever is later all have to be applied including the last one okay now this is let's go and select the file groups okay now double click here here we are I'm going to select the transaction log backup tree only this is the file group I want to actually back it up okay it already says transaction history group 2000 okay and I'm going to select okay now here there is an option of disk and a tape okay because the tape is disabled because I don't have anything here on the tape attached to tape device attached to my systems okay now let's go and see what's here in the name name is actually it will give you the name you can write whatever type the name here the description would actually be the name plus the date plus the time I will leave it as it is blank but usually you will also put the name the date and the time here okay we'll come to this thing this is the backup media of the previous one I'm going to remove this thing I'm not going to back up to the same place okay and then there's the options oh. Now oh, this is packing overwrite media back up to the existing media set if I am going to back up to the existing media set which is the default it is the it will always append the backup to the existing whatever backup already exists okay now if I suppose select the overwrite existing backup it will overwrite it but the problem is that if the option was set here right here okay which says backup will expire after let's say 30 days okay and the backup did not expire it will give me an error okay here again let's go and see the backup this thing again for the 30 days after 30 days expires I can always select 31 days I can go to the calendar and calendar select the calendar wise wherever I want to 
again I can go to the after and etc 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 and 30 days okay let's go back to the same options again here which says the override the existing backup set okay if I select the overriding override the backing existing backup sets it will check for the date of the expiry if there is it will give you an error which will not allow you to backup the database on the same media if you until and unless even if you try to overwrite it okay it will create a problem because the backup, backup media has not expired yet okay the backup hasn't backup hasn't expired yet and then you can check the media name if you want if you had given a backup media name and backup exp set expiration only then only this option gets actually activated otherwise it won't okay check the media name and the backup expiration your media name would be here whatever the media name you had specified in that backup earlier backup okay and whatever you are specifying now if they match and there's and the backup expiration has not taken place then there's a problem it will give you an error it will not back it up or uh, there's another option here i'll just disable this thing right now for the right now okay then there's a backup to the new media erasing this will erase the existing media even if it is if it it hasn't expired yet and it will override this thing okay i'll go to and select the previous option only right now okay verify backup when finished you can select this option verify the checkup media check check some of the writing media this will check the media whether the media is correct if it's giving giving an error now if you want to continue an error this is very rather i cannot understand why would you like to continue a backup which is giving you an error the, perf the idea basic of the idea is to have a backup which doesn't give you an error because so that you can restore in the bad times i don't know why this option has been kept but for whatever that reason is okay maybe it doesn't want to end it here it may like to continue with the error the database is with the error situation that is the reason it says continue with an error so that the database already has a lot of errors in the tables and if then there is an error you the database has to be backed up that is the reason it is there and then there is a tip drive okay now this is a compressed backup usually you don't get a compressed backup many people are actually wondering about where what how the backup is been compressed they are trying to use the utility to recover the backup but they are not being able to because they don't know that the SQL Server backup enterprise uh, as compressed backup is only available with the SQL Server Enterprise 2008 edition only other edition of the SQL Server don't have if you try to compress a backup on the SQL Server Enterprise and try to restore on the standard it may not give you this option so use this option very carefully okay I'm going to use this option to show it to you okay now let's go to back to the again to the journal options okay now let's go and add the details to the disk where we should back up the location of the file there we are let's double click on this side box it's giving it's I've selected the destination for it okay and I was given the name you can select any other destination usually it will not be on this place it will be some other place only but for the demo sake I am showing it to you on this place only on the same drive usually it is always on another other drive you cannot back up the database on the same drive you should never do a back up the database on the same drive where your SQL server is because if your SQL server fails and your hard drive goes bad you cannot recover that data the database and the data files including the master including the transaction including the other database like msdb they all should be on a different hard disk or a different media even your transaction log backup should be taken on a different media etc etc okay then the everything has to be as separate as possible so that you can have the recovery chances to the full okay clicking the ok will set the now it has set the path now I'm, I'm not going to, this time I'm not going to use a backup device so I will use the file name I'm going to click OK and there we are let's go and check up on the options once more in the other screen here it's, we have set it this is the defaulted default is I have checked this options and I'm going to click OK and it should 
start there we are it says completely successfully completed and that's how it is done it's very simple no hustle fussle about it take it easy and you can now that you have understood how to back up the file groups or the files you can now use the this option to using the sql server management studio to back up the files but it would be still better if you knew how to back up the file using the transact sql i will end it here next in the next video